by running around Gaza looking for those Hamasniks between their families and, and all that, sacrificing our own, our, own, our own soldiers in order to try to make a, a division between Hamas and Gaza. There is no difference between Hamas and Gaza. Hamas is an ideology. You'll kill Sinwar tomorrow morning, you'll get another one, just like 10 times before. It happened, it happened all the times before. The war is not, it's not a personal war. It's a war between good and bad, between justice and evil. And so as you see Israel prosecute this war, I think, we, I think we're missing the whole point of that war. And the point being, from what, the way you see it, is that this is a, a, a spiritual war between good and evil. Definitely. It's a war, it's a war for justice. What do they, how do they describe that war? What, the, what is the name they gave to that war? It's an Al-Aqsa bloodshed. And it's, it's Al-Aqsa, excuse me, Al-Aqsa um, flood. Mabul Al-Aqsa, they call it. Okay? Meaning? Meaning, we coming like a flood to take over Jerusalem. They're not fighting for Gaza, they're fighting for Jerusalem. You're speaking about Hamas, oh, Hamas stating from the river to the sea. Yeah. And that's yeah. an attack against the Jewish they, people in they Israel. Cannot, they cannot uh, agree to that whole process I explained before. That the Jews are coming back to their homeland in order to spread the message of life to the world. No. There's no room for Jewish sovereignty in any square inch of the land of, of, of the Holy Land. And by the way, that, that so-called Palestinian nation, okay, which has no history, there's no, no nation like that, okay, but the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, was established in 1964, three years before the Six-Day War. They never asked for any so-called Palestinian state in Judea and Samaria and Jerusalem in the Gaza Strip because these territories were held by Arab countries so they had no problem and when they got back and, and, and when the Jews expelled themselves stupidly from the Gaza Strip and destroyed the Jewish villages and left they continue fighting and shooting rockets on, on Tel Aviv because it's not about them, it's about us. Mm. They don't want a Palestinian state. They want the Jews not to have a state. They want the Jews not to have any kind of sovereignty. Because Jewish sovereignty on the, on, on, on the Holy Land means that the process of redemption for the Jews and through the Jews to the entire humanity is continuing, even though the, the, the Israelis and themselves are a, bit, are a bit mixed up, but we'll fix it. It'll take time. We'll grow out of it, okay? They understand the process better, better than the Israelis do. And they want to stop it. And the whole progressive world is on their, on their side. Why? They fighting against us because they want the, mess, the message of Islamic death, the shuhada, to come out from the Temple Mount. Okay? That's, that's their ideology. The progressive world do not want any message of God to come out there. So right now, right now the progressive world, the universities in America, the UN, definitely the UN organizations, okay? World, world uh, uh, Economic Forum, uh, the the world the health um, the health organization of the, of, of, the, of, U, of the UN and so on they all on Hamas, Hamas side the 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 feminist organi feminist organization the women organization world women organization cannot condemn the worst rape that 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 we we, we could think of okay like, why because they're all progressive. And the concept of, pro of progressive 
is, of course, there's no God. We replace God. We rule the world. We, we, we shape the world, invent all identities by ourselves. We don't need God. The message of truth, uh, of God, uh, and, 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 and the message of God is in a tremendous contradiction to the whole progressive concepts. So, of course, they're joining forces with Hamas. So here we stand, the Jewish nation, the Jewish people, in the land of Israel, fighting a much wider scale of evil than just Hamas and Islam. You see, Kelly, the, 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 the very existence of the people of Israel the fact that the people of Israel exist for, I think, 3,700 years already, since Abraham, okay? 2,000 years after the, the destruction of, the, of our temple and being spread all, all over the world, we kept our identity and kept our connection to the, to the land of Israel, which waited for us empty, all those years, go and read uh, Mark Twain's book. Mark Twain, who, who, who wrote a book about his journey to the land of Israel in the mid-19th century, okay? I think it was in 19... He wrote the book in the 1960s. No, excuse me, 1860s. 1860s, 1860, yeah. So, he, he write... There's no... He could not find even, even a tree. Empty left, poor, nothing here. The land of Israel was waiting for its, for its kids to come back for 2,000 years, just as it, as it was promised in the Bible. And the Jews are coming back from all over the world, from all the lang languages, okay? So this whole wide picture, this whole tremendous process of the Jews coming back to their homeland, creating their state, going back to their language, to, to their original Hebrew language, points at the Creator, at our Father in Heaven. There's a, there's a force behind us. You see, there's a, there's a, there's a covenant, there is a covenant between the Jews and God. And God keeps it, his promise. And most of humanity are believers and, and believe in the Bible. And here it happens. So these evil forces need to stop it. And that's the source of all this war, wars of the Islam from one hand, the Nazis on the other hand, the progressives on the other hand, the whole evil side of humanity against the Jews. And, and, that, and that, every time I see Jews and Israelis showing this picture, trying to spread it, I'm tearing my hair. This is what we call in Hebrew, Chilul Hashem. I mean, we are the children of God. What do you say about God when you show the whole world what these barbarians did to his children. Victory means that our enemies will be wiped out from here forever. This is what victory means. We, we, we like to think that we created here a nice secular state, and, uh, uh, um, but no, we have a message to the world from here, a, mes a message of freedom, a message of peace, a, mes a message of goodness, but also a message of fighting the bad, fighting the evil for the, entire, for the entire humanity. When we're running away from our mission, from our goal, from our concepts, we're losing our uh, justification for existence here. Moshe, what's your message um, <clears throat> to America? Americans, Amer Americans knows very well, at least most of them, <clears throat> what it says in the Bible, those who blessed you will be blessed, and those who cursed you will be cursed. 
do you want to be <coughs> do you want to be on the cursed side of humanity or on the blessed side of humanity it seems like everything America is doing today under Biden administration definitely the Democrats okay the Democrat Party is is about avoiding the Any chance of Israeli of Israeli victory that's this is what it is uh, it seems like these progressive movements that control the the, the American the American um, administration very much want Israel to lose and creating a so-called Palestinian state means that Israel lost the war. Well, America should understand that the Jewish nation existence is promised forever. But it doesn't matter what a big superpower you are. Remember the Babylons, remember the Romans, remember the Egyptians, remember everybody else, remember the Soviet Empire. Do you think you're going to remain forever? You're not. Unless you'll stick to the Jews, to the secret of existence forever. America is crumbling down today. It seems like it's just a matter of, I don't know how many years for America to exist before it will all crumble down. If America will not go back to those good values that it was created on, upon, if you run away from those good values, the values of freedom, the values of belief, Your whole economy is based on one line on your dollar, and God we trust. You lost God, you lost your economy. And if you want to save America, you cannot attack Israel and stand between Israel and its full victory on its enemies, which is exactly what the Biden administration is doing today. You... have had a leadership role here in Israel. Do you plan to run again for prime minister? Yes, <clears throat> and I said it publicly, and this is my plan. My, pl- my, my plan is, is to become the prime minister of Israel. And I believe that when the prime minister of Israel From that position, the leader of the Jewish nation will talk to the believers all over the world in that language that I just spoke right now. Which side of humanity you want to be with? The blessed side or the cursed side? Do you want to flourish again? Do you want to stick to your real values, family values, family values? Okay? Okay. 